I want to bring in former U.S. national team player Alejandro Bedoya, now the captain of the Major League Soccer's Philadelphia Union, for more on this. Alejandro, thanks for being here. You know, the U.S. did better than expected against England on Friday, but a draw won't cut it this time around. They have to win. So how do you think they do that? Yeah, I think this is the drama that neutral fans love to see. Uh, however, I do have to give a lot of credit to the U.S. national team. I think they played a great game against England. Uh, they dominated them and they had the better chances. So I think they're coming into this game fairly confident and obviously highly motivated. This is a must-win game. And as you guys just saw, uh, Algeria, uh, the last 2010 World Cup, I know that some of the players went to bed last night dreaming of being the hero and scoring a game winner in, in such a crucial match. To, to be able to move on. Now, this Iranian team has gained a lot of attention over singing or not singing their national anthem. They kind of half-heartedly sung it before playing Wales after standing in silent protest before playing England. What are you watching for there, and how hard is it for both of these teams to focus on soccer amid all the political tensions? Yeah, absolutely. We knew, obviously, with the host nation that there was always going to be some distractions out there, given everything that's at stake off the field. Uh, however, you know, I think there was a lot of courage shown by the uh, Iranian team. Um, and we continue to show our support uh, for the women, for human rights, for, you know, LGBTQ community. Uh, MLS remains steadfast in, in the support of these communities. And I think the U.S. national team players also support them. So it'd be interesting to see what happens today. But at the end of the day, I know everybody, all these players, all they want to do is, is put on uh, their best performance for, for themselves, for their families, represent their country, and, and come out victorious in such a crucial match to be able to, to move on in the tournament. Now, the biggest star of the U.S. team is striker Christian Pulisic. Midfielder Tyler Adams has also played a key role in these games so far. Who will you be watching today? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be watching those two guys as well. I do have to say, I, I hope to see my former teammate, Brendan Aronson, uh, be able to get some more playing time and, and have an impact. But absolutely, you know, Tyler has shown throughout this tournament uh, that he this is very well deserving of being the captain of this team. Uh, he's put on a, a unbelievable performances there and locking the midfield down. And, and Christian is, is a star player, you know. He's able to make something out of nothing, and I'm hoping to see uh, him make an impact in this game. But I think I've been very impressed with Eunice Musa and the midfield as well and uh i'm just seeing uh, looking forward to seeing our team come out victorious in such a crucial match all right alejandro I'm putting you on the spot here predictions what's the final score yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I think uh, Iran is going to be more uh, defensive, and hopefully we it's not going to be easy to break them down. So I think it's going to be a tough match. 1-0 uh, USA. We're moving on. I believe that we will win. Alejandro Bedoya, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.